I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question on standard deviation and mean. Now this question is especially for the students who are preparing for uh, SAT. Now these days we have slightly modified and so you may have questions which require complete solution rather than selecting amongst the multiple choices. The question here is the examination scores for grade 12 students are normally distributed with a mean of 68 marks and a standard deviation of 12 marks. If 2.5% of students gain a prize for scoring above Y marks, find the value of Y. Now I'll take this opportunity to also explain few basic concepts about normal distribution and then we will solve this question. You'll also find few links which you can explore to understand in greater details right so what we are given here is a normal distribution so we are saying the distribution is normal and in this distribution we are given the average or the mean which is 68 so we read 68 as the mean and standard deviation is 12 so sometimes we write standard deviation sometimes we write it square here right so so that is what is given to us Okay, now <clears throat> the question says if 2.5% of students gain a prize for scoring above Y marks, find the value of Y. What does it mean? Now when we say that we're talking about a normal distribution, that means we are considering a bell graph, right? which is kind of like this. Let me just sketch one, uh, kind of like this. most of the things which we practically come across their distribution follows this pattern especially when we are talking about large numbers right so this is what it is always this mode now that is the average value right so in this bell graph you'll find that all mean mode and median they are right at the center and for us the value is given to us as 68 marks so this is this is at 68 so 68 marks is the average marks for all grade 12 students in this particular case area under this curve will always be 1 and you'll find this to be asymptotic at the two ends right and the standard deviation which is given to us as 12 is a point where the concavity of this curve changes so you'll find this this kind of place so it's like a concave up and concave down do you see that so this is a point where we can say this is the point which is is sigma or standard deviation away right so that is 12 marks away right so what we can do at this stage is we can just drop uh, one sigma away. Is it okay? So that is one sigma away on either side. Since we know that uh, standard deviation is 12, so it is 12 this side and 12 that side. So this point will represent marks of 68 plus 12. Let me write 68 plus 12 here. And that portion on the left side will represent 68 minus 12. That is the number of marks. Is that okay? So one standard deviation away. Now in a normal graph, this much of the portion represents 68% of data. 68%, right? So as it is symmetric about this axis, we can say that the the number of students who fall within one standard deviation away from the mean will be 68% of the students. 34% uh, on this side and 34% on the other side. Total will be 68%. Don't get confused with this mean 68 here, okay? Right. So that's one thing to know. The second thing to know is that if we have two sigma away, then 95% of the data is within that 
range do you understand so so that is kind of let's say if you move uh, 12 more units to the right let's say this is 12 for us 12 more units to the left right let's say this much then these this point this point that represents 95% of the data right 95% so basically this this is all 95 right so this is 34 34 and the balance you can say 13% uh, and 13% right so this represents 13% uh, and 13% is it okay so basically it is 95% to this side so we could write 13.5% to be very precise anyway what I'm trying to say here is that within this interval within this interval we have 98% uh, of I mean 95% of students do you see that within this interval okay now let's get back to the question it says if 2.5% of students gain a prize for scoring above y mark find the value of y right so basically we are saying that this region here if we if this is 95 5% 5 is here which is distributed like like 2.5% here and 25.5% on the upper side I, let me write down 13.5% to make it 95 right so otherwise it doesn't really add to anyway so that is what it is now if you look into the question it says if 2.5% of students gain a prize for scoring above y mark that means we are looking for this value this value is y for us above this marks then they get a prize do you see that's the whole idea so what is this value of y correct that is what we are trying to figure out right so in this case as you can see the the value of y should be minimum two standard deviations away so y for us is equals to mean whatever the mean value is plus two times standard deviation is it okay so that is what it is so in our case mean is 68 plus two times standard deviation is 12 All right so that gives us 68 plus 24 and that should be equals to 492 right so the person who gets at least 92 marks will get a prize expected right so so we could write down our answer is that the y equals to 92 that means this is kind of minimum to get prize or uh, you should use the word expect because all case of probability so that is what we could see in future to come kind of right so that is what is expected so in such questions is not very difficult once you understand the concept so let me first uh, you know go back and just let's reconcile so what we have here in normal distribution is the center is always the mean and one standard deviation on either side will contain 68 percent of the the marks in this case or students having those marks two standard deviation away will take care of 95 percent of the students and if you are trying to figure out what is the value for the extreme on the right side then that will be 2.5 percent an extreme on the left side will be also 2.5 percent now to find the maximum i mean to find the minimum marks to get the prize will be at the edge of 95 percent so we expect that to be mean plus two standard deviations away mean 68 2 times 12 which is the standard deviation when you add that up you get 92 so mark of 92 will place the student 
in the category of getting a prize. That is the summary, right? I hope you understand and appreciate it. You can always share my videos, subscribe to them, and feel free to comment. Thank you and all the best.